All right, in this video, we're gonna see how to match a position graph to a velocity graph. Now the quizzes I made are multiple choice, but in this case, we'll just see how to draw it in the first place. So remember, velocity is the slope of the position graph. So the first thing we wanna do is look at this position graph and see how does the slope change. And throughout the entire graph, it appears that it's not changing. It's a straight line. It doesn't you know, change direction at any point. The slope here is the same as the slope here and all of that. So it's going to be consistent the whole way. So what is the slope? Well, we can find that out. It goes up 25 and over 5. So the slope is 25 is the rise over the run, which is 5, is 5. You know, I could take the slope the whole way, 100 over all the way over is 20. 100 over 20 is also 5. Point is the slope's not changing. So if I make this a graph and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then a velocity graph is just going to look like this. And because it's moving to the right, it has a positive velocity, and this also has a positive slope. Uh, whereas if this were a graph going downward, if this were the graph, then it would have a velocity of negative 5, and it would be a straight line down there. But the point is, because the velocity does not change and it's moving to the right, it's just a horizontal line. That is what the velocity graph looks like. Again, the quizzes I made don't go into this level of detail, but it's still good to know how to do. Let's look at another one. All right, so here's another one where the slope is not changing throughout the entire graph. It's consistent. Um, we notice this time it's sloping downward, though. It's got a negative slope, so the velocity is going to be negative. It's going to be down here. And let's just get a sense of what it is again. So from here to here, the rise is negative 50. You know, it's really a fall, but we'll say it's negative 50. The run is all the way over is 25. So the slope is negative 50 over 25 or negative 2. So the velocity is negative 2 throughout. If I label this negative 1, negative 2, the velocity does not change. This is what a velocity graph would look like for this particular position versus time graph. It's consistent the whole way. It's moving left, so the velocity is negative. Let's look at one last all right, this one, the position versus time graph, it does not have a constant velocity at all. It has pretty much three distinct positions, uh, three segments. It's got this area, it's got this area, and it's got this area. So there's three different velocities we're looking at. So it starts off, it's got a negative slope, right? It's got a rise of negative 50 over a run of 10. So it starts off at a velocity of negative 5. So again, if I want to label this, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, it starts at negative 5, and it does that for about 10 seconds. Now, on this graph, I don't have these labeled, but maybe I'll make this, let's call this 10 seconds. And so for 10 seconds, it's got a velocity of negative 5. So there's my velocity graph. Then over this region, it has stopped moving. Its position is constant. It is at 50 meters, and it does not change. Its slope is 0, so its velocity is 0, and it does that until it hits 25 seconds. So let's call this 25, right? If I go every four is 10, that's 20. This would be, uh, let's see, 10, 20. This would be 30. This would be 35. So I'm just drawing a scale here. So its velocity is zero until it reaches 25. And now it's got another slope here. It's got a rise of 25 divided by a run of 10. So its slope is 2.5. So that's positive because it's going to the right. So 2.5, if I use the same scale as here, so a velocity versus time graph is going to change. You get three different velocities. I can make a vertical line to connect this if I want. Um, basically, you're just looking at the position graph and saying, is it moving left? Is it moving right? And depending on how specific you need to be, you could calculate the velocity from the slope. Um, but that's kind of how you get a velocity graph from a position graph. Um, and that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.